1.2 gigahertz is a really interesting spectrum for sure because of the rules and regulations behind uh, wireless microphone operation. In Japan, there are essentially three bands that we manufacture products for. Uh, the first band being the UHF band. Uh, many years ago, the regulatory bodies in Japan made new regulations that mandated that manufacturers develop products in the UHF band for licensed users. And these licensed users, in order to use the UHF band, not only have to uh, purchase the spectrum that they're using, essentially renting from the regulator, but they also have to rent it based on time and location. So in order to get a UHF set of frequencies operating, it requires a bit of paperwork and some bureaucracy with the Japanese regulator in order to make it work. The second bandwidth that Sure is currently manufacturing products for in Japan is what we call the JB band. And it works roughly from 794 to 806 megahertz. And that band is um, completely open for anyone to use. A license is not required. In fact, it's very unpredictable when and how many of these microphones will be on air at any given time. So it's generally not considered a pro band. It's a band that's normally used for consumer or prosumer use. Uh, but then there's the 1.2 band. The 1.2 band up in 1200 megahertz um, is a really interesting part of the spectrum because while users in Japan are required to have a license in order to operate it, they're not required to report to the government based on time and location where it's being used. And it's not a frequency band that needs to be rented. So for broadcasters, for theater productions, for live sound crews, basically for anybody who's traveling with a wireless microphone, uh, 1.2 has its benefits because it can be used anywhere in the country uh, without any special paperwork with the regulator. Um, it's wide. It's wide enough bandwidth to where you can get many channels on air at one time. And um, you don't have to worry about amateurs using it.